Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Today though, before we start, I'd like to announce a couple of things. One, always like the channel. Please give a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. But also, uh, there's a new feature that's been rolled out in YouTube and I'm implementing it now that each of my videos, when they come out, will now be shown to the channel members first before being rolled out so if you want to watch this video before it goes live for the rest of the world to see make sure you hit that join button down below that is a benefit of hitting that join button other than you get to actually support the channel as well um, but you also get to see the videos before anybody else so today's video we're going to be taking a look at enlightenment desktop which uh over the christmas time has released the version 25.25 in the pac-man repo it's 0.26 so i don't know if they named it wrong in the pac-man repo or what but uh, according to the to the notations and everything i have it's uh 25 so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that Right. So as you can see, I've loaded it up into my vert manager. And so I am getting ready to boot into it for the first time. We'll do a quick walkthrough setup of it and then we'll look at the desktop. Um, so here we are getting ready to boot in. Ooh, we have sound. So this is what you're greeted with. This is on Arch Vanilla, by the way. So we're going to do our system default is English. English is the keyboard. Wow, this is nice. You could either do the standard enlightenment or the tiling version. Ooh, I'm almost tempted to do the tiling version, but many people won't do tiling. So let's do this. We'll do the standard one. Then I'll come back and maybe do a video on the tiling version. So we're going to click next on that. And so now it's going to do what it's going to do, which is probably downloading and installing the, the desktop or setting it up, one of the two. It's adding missing app files, according to what it's saying at the top. Ooh, so this is scaling, I guess, huh? We'll just go with the standard. Uh, focus wherever a window is clicked, whenever the mouse enters. Okay, we'll do this. We're just gonna select standard through everything. It's completely setting up your, your desktop environment. Which is kind of nice because you have a lot of customization right here, right off the bat. You don't get that in many of the actual uh, distribution uh, or uh, desktop environments. Um, on man network service is not found. Install. Yes, we're going to do that. So this is going to be Blues. It was their Bluetooth enabler. Con man is the same thing as their um, as your network manager. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click this for blues to allow Bluetooth to be done. Settings, hardware acceleration, open GL, tear free rendering. You can enable this right off the bat. This is awesome. This is new stuff that they've done. You didn't used to do this in the past. This is some newer stuff that they've done with this desktop. This is nice. Uh, check for available updates. Enable. Yep, we're going to do that for sure. Uh, a taskbar can be added to show. Open. Yep, we're going to enable the taskbar. This is great. You're setting this up right from the beginning. And look at that. So your display driver does not support OpenGL. So, oh, this is because it's a virtual machine. We're going to click. Okay. So this is what we get. Go to settings. Go to the screen. Screen setup. Oh, wow. We can pick our 1920 by 1080 right here. We're going to hit apply. That looks really good right there. That is nice. For apps, we can make this bigger. You're right. This is really nice. You, you can do personal application launchers, which if you want to add one, you can. Favorite apps, which these are all your favorites that are in favorite. That's crazy cool. I like the animations. 
See when you click over whichever is a focused window, you get those animations. That is slick. This is actually nice. This is really, really nice. I've always seen uh, Enlightenment desktop on distributions that have always made their distribution with it already set up and everything. This is actually setting it up for the first time. This is cool. Uh, unlock animations. That's cool. Uh, restart applications. Startup applications. This is where you could add startup applications to it. Uh, these are the default applications for like your browser, uh, email client. Wow, this is crazy cool. Um, and then desktop environments. These are ones where you could install. Is this going to be Wayland? This is going to be X11 apparently. That's cool. I do know that it does support X Wayland. I believe I, I've I've seen I, or Wayland as well. So that's kind of cool. So for screen look, here's your wallpaper where you can choose your your wallpaper. Flat fan. So this has got the flat themes and icon already put in. This is crazy cool. We're going to hit close on that. Then we're going to go to applications themes. This is where you can theme like Emacs. Isn't that crazy? That's cool. Uh, for theming, um, it's got the default, which I believe is a flat, which is cool. So um, under the color palette, this is a new color picker tool that they talked about um, that they added on. This is it right here. Wow. Background dark. Wow. This is crazy cool. You can adjust it to add it. That's crazy cool. You can adjust your fonts. Uh, this tool is pretty impressive for their settings. Uh, you can do everything from it. So this is the desktop. What you're looking for, that, that you get. You get these icons on the desktop right off the bat. These are obviously, you know, different folders that you can go to. Like this is your actual computer folder, like your root folder, and then this is going to be the home folder, as identified by the house and also the title home, and then this is going to be your temp folder, which is very nice that it has a temp folder. So that's cool. So you have um, this dock at the bottom, which is your panel, which is more like a dock, which is I like the sleek look of it. I mean, this is the flat theme that they have. It's designed to be this way before you see it's got, it had latte dock and it had the 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 actual icons that would pop out and, you know, they would animate stuff like that. Now it's gone to this regular flat look, which I think looks awesome. Kind of more of an XFCE style, but I like it. So anyhow, you click here. This is your app launcher. And then uh, when you open these windows, like, uh, let's see here. Let's under accessories. There's not a whole lot. Let's uh, open um, Emixer. Okay. So outside of the animations that happen, when you like hover over this corner, see that blue square you have? That's for you to be able to scale your window up or down. That's kind of cool. I kind of like this. Looks like it comes with four different desktops, virtual desktops right out of the box that you can do. For screenshot tool, you could use this right here. Navigate, you got your home, your desktop, which we've taken a look at already. For applications, they don't have a whole lot. And then for under applications, you have your accessories. They don't have a lot. They've basically got Vim for development. They've got elementary perf, an elementary test. Then they have internet, you have uh avahi uh the ssh server uh for that's it for multimedia they've got emixer and then the, for system they've got the enlightenment file manager and then they have htop which uh when you open it up the text is small i don't know exactly how to resize the text in it um because of the, their their environment has that i imagine if you were to install a different terminal such as like kitty or Kitty or, or maybe like, you know, Alacrity or, Thune, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, another terminal emulator, you could resize it. But in this one, the control plus does not make it any bigger. So unfortunately, this is what it looks like. So there's that. Uh, then they have here is the volume for your mixer. Uh, this right here is a separator, I believe. Yep. And then you got your system, your system tray right here, which is going to be your date and time, which got a little calendar that pops up, which you could add to it, right? Oh, sorry, let's click on it to make that go away. Then this right here is going to be your oh, mixer right here where you can increase your volume as well. 
Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is for your backlighting. My bad. That's where you can change your brightness right here on the panel. That's cool. And then this is your actual volume indicator. I'm so used to the to the volume being this way. That's crazy. Uh, so anyhow, so there's that, right? To show your volume is at 129, 128. Uh, you can open up the mixer right here so you can have your inputs, outputs, whatever. So there's that. Uh, then, of course, your keyboard right here for setting your your your, your language. And then uh, you got your power session right here. And you click on it for your suspend, power, lockdown, all that good stuff. So that's what that looks like. So there you go. That is a look at the Enlightenment desktop with some of the new features that they've added, such as the color palette and some of the um, behind the scenes stuff you won't see. But it's actually pretty, pretty fast. I mean, it's pretty snappy, like, you know. It's kind of uh, you click on the you left click on the desktop and it pulls up your 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 main menu here. Um, like you can do shell. What is shelves exactly? Oh, shell. Oh, you can log into a different shell. You could I switch between shells right here, like between like um, bash or fish or whatever gadgets. Oh, you can add a gadget here. Let's let's see about adding a gadget here. Um, let's do a clock. What the heck? Actually, temperature. Ah, so you can add a gadget right here to show your temperatures when you click on it. So you can see where your temperature's at on here. I imagine that it changes from. Uh, horizontal vertical settings go to settings display units are Fahrenheit deck intervals temperatures oh we hit apply and then we're good to go so I imagine it's I think it's kind of broken because it's not showing it should be saying like 75 85 degrees whatever it's gonna say but I imagine if you were running hot that it would if, if this was also on an actual uh, probably on now that I think about it, this is a virtual machine, so it would show the CPU temperatures, even though this is KVM and it's actually passing the actual uh, CPU through, it's probably not showing the 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 temperature as well. But either you know, the, the degrees by number, but so yeah, anyhow, that is a cool look at what you can do with Enlightenment Desktop. Uh, guys, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, make sure that you um, leave a comment. Uh, what what you think about if you use Enlightenment, if you haven't used Enlightenment, what you you know, what was your experience with it? Uh, this is not a desktop that I use very often. I like that it has that tiling window manager option. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can load that up later on and play with it and see what the commands are for that. But uh, other than that, guys, you guys keep doing what you keep doing what you do. Keep on Linux and stay blessed, stay happy, and above all, I will see you in the next one.